Well, the weather's crap outside this weekend. It's blowing about 20 knots, so fishing is off the cards. Uh, I thought I'd show you how I set up some new gear for jigging for kingfish. Uh, of course, you need the appropriate rod and reel. And I've spooled that with 80 pound Daiwa J braid. And that is rainbow colored every 10 meters. So when you're dropping down, say 50 meters, of water and the fish are holding in maybe 30 meters you know you can count the colors as they go down 10 20 30 and you know when to stop it just takes a lot of the guesswork out of fishing next up we have our leader my leader of choice for this setup is the black magic 130 pound mono it's one of the cheaper brands out there i haven't really had any problems with it so i'll continue to use it Next up I just have some pliers just for cutting the line or opening split rings and of course we've got the jig we want to tie on and not necessary but pace have a lighter handy just to clean up any sharp edges on thick mono. Now one of the more important parts that a lot of people struggle with is connecting your braid main line to your mono leader. And of course you want something that's nice and slimline and it's going to go through the guides easy and of course it has to be strong if you're fishing tight drags. My knot of choice is the FG knot and a lot of people also use the PR knot but I think you need a bobbin to do that so I prefer just the FG knot because it can be done just using your hands. It takes a bit of practice to get it right but um, so far so good and I have never had one fail. I won't go too in depth on all the details for tying the knot because it would take a while and it's probably a topic for a separate video but I'll show you how it's done. Now here is my completed FG knot. You can see that's nice and streamlined. So nothing's going to catch on your guides when you're winding it through. And now what I need the lighter for, I don't know how many people do this but if you can see right there where I've cut the mono, there's a few little sharp edges. I like to hold the knot in my hand like that to protect the braid and just slowly mount those sharp edges just so they fold over and have no chance of rubbing up against the braid and cutting through it. Like I said, I'm not sure how many people actually do that step, but I like to do it just for peace of mind. Right, the next step is leader length. Now, again, that's sort of personal preference. I generally like to have at least two meters, especially on the jet ski when you're dealing with the fish yourself. It helps to have a bit of a longer leader to hang on to if you need to. And once we have cut our leader to length, next step is tying on your jig. Now again, this is sort of personal preference. A lot of people say you should only ever tie it onto the solid ring so that you're in direct contact with the hook. But I know of people that tie it directly to the jig as well and they have no issues. And there's a few different types of knots you can use for this step. A really common one is the AG chain knot and it's really easy to tie and another option is also the uni knot. Something you may want to do if you don't want the jig to stay with the rod for the meantime is you can remove the assist rig off the jig just by doing the split ring here. Now we have our assist rig separate from the jig and we can tie our knot. For this rig I'm going to use a uni knot. And then we have a simple five turn uni knot. 
Now if you like you can reattach your jig but I like to leave it as is for now. It saves your jig shaking around when you're traveling on the jet ski and you can just attach it when you want to start fishing. So that's basically all there is to it. And there we have our completed setup ready for smashing over some kingfish. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is a benefit of tying your leader directly to your assist rig is that it leaves you free to change jigs just by using the split ring and you don't have to retie the knot. Let me know in the comments section if there is any other rigging videos you guys would like to see and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see me catching some fish with this gear.